COVID. Everything's changed. This is day 32 since uh, establishments like ours. So breweries, tap rooms, bars, restaurants have all been ordered to close by mandate of the governor as well as different state agencies. So our tap room's been shuttered now for over a month. The big change though was really drastic. It just went, you had these little waves and then it just shut off. I remember the Sunday that the announcement came out that night. We actually were really busy. The tap room was completely full. A lot of our regulars were at the bar. We were like, no, just stay open, just stay open. Hearing about COVID kind of snowballed because at first it was seeing a little bit on the news and it feeling very far removed and then it inching closer. It was, I mean, we all got hit by the same truck. You know? <laughs> I was living at 5th and Chestnut in a 500 square foot studio and I was doing Postmates at the time on a BMX bike and then it built. And then the last two or three weeks has just been boom seeing Pine shut down uh, and then masks came and like Mayor Robert Garcia's um, videos for the city. I thought it was like the flu. It seemed really silly, but I remember really debating on whether or not to have my album release show. We've been working on the album for about two years. Of course it got canceled. Of course it wasn't the right thing to do. You know, the next week it was just like, oh, we have to stop doing Yoga on the Bluff. Like, if Yoga on the Bluff is a place that fills people's cups in the way that I hear it does, then I, then I imagine there's, there's a lot of people with half-empty cups right now. I felt like, okay, how am I gonna make money now? My restaurants are closed. There's not a lot of foot traffic. I was so sad when the date came and went. You know, there was so much that should have happened that day, and it didn't. And then you move on. And that's when it really hit me. So I was like, okay, people can't go grocery shopping. How can I help? Let me get them the food that they need. So I switched over to grocery shopping for people that are afraid to go out and can't go out. Right now, I'm grateful for having yoga being an income stream because that's the only income stream I have right now is teaching people online. You know, it's good for me to understand that my role in the world is positive. I don't know who I'd be if I hadn't moved here, to be honest with you. We've moved again to an all takeaway format. So we're filling crawlers to order. The biggest difference in our world though is we're not making beer right now. We're making hand sanitizer. And that's a way that we can utilize the equipment we have to do something good. When Portuguese Ben reached out to us, our immediate answer was yes. We didn't even know like the financials or any of those details. We're like, yes, how do we help? How can we be involved? And thank you for thinking of us. We're making ethanol by fermenting sugars, and then Portuguese Bend is distilling that. And the objective of this is not only to increase the amount of hand sanitizer that's available, but to ease the pressure on that quote unquote hospital grade, allow that to go to the hospitals, whereas, you know, the guy that's making sure that you still have your deliveries arriving on time or your gas is flowing so you can boil your water, he can stay safe using the product we're providing. It's kind of like you've got to work with what you've got and it's not perfect. Yes, everything closes down and what am I going to do about it? And what do I have to offer people? And what is the need right now and how can I fill it? So right now what I'm working on is to bring music to neighborhoods, to entertain people and bring joy while they're staying safe at home. And you know, instead of going out and going to shows, we're bringing the show to you. I just got overwhelmed with the joy of bringing music to people. People came out of their houses and they were dancing and enjoying the music. You're bringing in some money to some musicians who have lost tons and tons of gigs. Everything about it is really fulfilling. Alley Cat's been booming because of delivery and the whole COVID thing, but at the same time, I don't want people to go without. So in the last two weeks, I've been putting out more volunteer and pocket money out of my own than I've been taking in. But at the same time, it doesn't matter because again, I know what it's like to not have it. I need to give it. If I'm being blessed with it in any, in any little increment, I can give it back. It'll come back to me in one way or another, it will. And at the end of COVID-19, I'm still gonna believe in Long Beach, California because Long Beach, California has met me at every, every step of, of this dark journey. <laughs>